Um, so let's start with the first talk uh, by uh, analog devices. Uh, the topic is L3U net, low latency, lightweight uh, unit based image segmentation model for parallel CNN processors. Thanks for the introduction. Uh, good afternoon. I am Georg Emilkar from Analog Devices. Uh, my talk is about uh, a technique we actually propose to lower latency in parallel CNN inference engines. Although this technique isn't limited to any kind of uh, applications, we just uh, picked image segmentation problem as a showcase and we created l -cube unit uh, low latency, uh, lightweight, unit-based image segmentation model. Here are the authors of our paper. Uh, Erman Okman is also here. He will be joining me in the QA session. Uh, let me start with some facts. Uh, as we all know, uh, the convolution operation is parallelizable in the channel dimension, and uh, the less data movement in the hardware means the more energy efficiency. So we combined these two uh, facts while creating our uh, analog devices, CNN uh, inference engine, MAX78000. And um, actually, we are not the only ones uh, claiming uh, its uh, efficiency. Um, its energy and latency efficiency have been uh, evaluated and validated independently by uh, Professor Michele Magno from ETH Zurich. And uh, in the below figure, actually, you are seeing uh, his slide from last year's uh, TinyML talk. And uh, as you can see uh, in the benchmarks, uh, we are really doing a good job in terms of uh, energy accuracy, energy efficiency, sorry. And uh, another fact is that uh, for the most of the cases, uh, for most of the times, uh, CNN models start with a uh, fewer number of uh, channels, but with greater uh, spatial resolution. So uh, for uh, CNN, parallel CNN uh, accelerators, this means only a small portion of available processors are being used, and they have a huge load because the resolution is uh, you know, uh, higher for them. So uh, we thought if we can find a way to uh, actually move the data from special dimension to the channel dimensions, then we can actually employ more number of uh, available uh, processors, then reduce the load of the uh, active processors. So uh, if uh, the processors do have their own data memory, for example, then even we can increase the uh, processable uh, resolutions with this method. But how does the data folding R technique works? Actually, uh, we are creating the low, uh, lower resolution versions of our uh, input uh, signal or our input image, actually. And uh, by taking every nth pixel from height and width uh, from the original image, and uh, we are concatenating those lower uh, resolution images in the channel dimension. So assume that your image has only three channels and you have a factor, folding factor of two, then uh, it means you'll end up with a 12-channel uh, uh, tensor with a lower spatial resolution. But the data is there, so we are not, how to say, uh, we are just uh, moving to data. Um, here is a, well, uh, is a figure um, showing number of multiplications per processor before and after data folding operation. As it's obvious, uh, since we have uh, employed actually more number of processors for the same load, uh, we just decreased uh, number of max per active processors uh, significantly. And I know that this slide is pretty hard to read, uh, but we just uh, want to show our model for the sake of completeness. It's just a, a unit-based uh, model. It's a tiny version of a unit uh, model. And um, in the beginning of the model, uh, we do contain our uh, data folding uh, stage. And at the end, uh, we unfold 
uh, actually the data back to the higher resolution. And uh, the rest is just a tiny version of the unit. Last but not the least, uh, here, is, here are our results for two different image uh, segmentation data sets. As you can see, we achieve more than 90% for uh, both CAMWIT and AI segment data sets. Uh, but the real impact of our study and also our hardware is in uh, energy efficiency and uh, latency values. Actually, uh, we can run 10 frames per second for with uh, 352 by 352 images. And uh, this is actually uh, quite high uh, resolution for uh, such a tiny device. And uh, with just a single AA alkaline battery, you can run over 1.5 million inferences. And this means with a one frame per second, uh, you can uh, use this uh, segmentation model 20 days. Uh, thanks for listening. Um, please note that all of our um, both training and deployment software are open source and accessible through GitHub. Uh, we would like to answer your questions now. Great, thank you. Thanks. Um, so, uh, with the folding, uh, I might have missed this, but do you not lose data when you, like, so you're decreasing the image size down to 25% of its original size and then duplicating it a bunch of times? Are you not losing some information in that process? Or if you are, then how do you um, work around that? OK. So uh, actually, you want to learn um, the specifics of how we do the data folding, right? I mean? Uh, I guess so. Or just if there's a, okay. yeah, how you're a not losing information. Uh, actually, um, we can also discuss this offline. But uh, we are just taking uh, the every end pixel from uh, both the height and width of the original image. And um, the, how to say, the concatenated versions are uh, those, uh, how to say, uh, lower resolution of the original image with the offsets. I mean, so they, we are, for example, uh, taking 0 and 4. And in the second version, we are just taking one uh, first and the fifth uh, pixels from both the height and the width. And uh, so the information is still the same. I mean, uh, we are just moving the data around uh, for, the, um, for, uh, for our aim. And uh, I also uh, would like to note that running a regular convolution on this folded uh, tensor is actually mathematically equivalent to the uh, running a strided convolution in the original strided convolution with a bigger kernel, actually on the original image or original tensor. So uh, the figure that I showed uh, actually compares this strided, I mean, mathematically equivalent operations. And it just shows that uh, with our technique, uh, the amount of max per active processors decreased uh, significantly. So the latency drops. So even for our uh, hardware, the uh, processable uh, resolution increases because in our hardware, uh, each processor uh, contain each processor to have their own uh, data memory. So since we just have to say reduced the usage in some of the uh, processors data memory uh, through just uh, distributing it to the more number of data memories, so the processors, we can increase. We actually increase the uh, resolution. That's why, uh, actually, we were able to process uh, 352 by 352 images without any uh, another trick, I mean. Got it. So if you had an uh, existing convolutional layer, you would have to change that layer to use your technique. You, you can't just like drop and replace it. Is that? Actually, we, actually, uh, we did this for just input and uh, output uh, layers, for example. We, at the input, we are doing the folding in this image segmentation problem, but definitely you can do it uh, in, a, in, how to say, uh, in the middle of the network as well. And uh, at the end, uh, since uh, the special resolution is decreased for the created image segmentation maps, 
uh, you need to unfold the data back to uh, you know higher resolution and uh, I mean for this specific use case we used a uh, folding factor of four so we just uh, decreased uh, the special resolution from 352 by 352 to 88 by 88 and uh, the number of channels has just increased from 3 to 4 to 8 and uh, our hardware does contain 64 parallel processors that's why uh, we just were able to use uh, six, uh, 4 to 8 over uh, 64 so uh, utilization factor has been increased okay great and we are very thankful for, for our sponsors. Uh, the executive, the premier sponsor this year is, is Edge Impulse. Uh, uh, and then uh, uh, executive sponsors are ARM, Deep Light, uh, uh, Qualcomm, and Cintian. Uh, Platinum sponsor Analog Devices, uh, Brainchip, Infineon, Clickatech, Latent AI, NXP, uh, Reality AI, Renaissance, Sony Semiconductor, and Synaptics, really. Very diverse company, great companies uh, who are really driving uh, TinyML forward. Uh, and um, uh, gold sponsors, PhotoHub, MicroAI, Prophecy, Seed Studio, SenseML, uh, ST Microelectronics, uh, Syncense, Exmos. And we have a list of uh, civil sponsors, Avion Devices, Aspinity, Siva, Emza, uh, Greenwave Technologies, Gravity, Hymix, HOTG, Imagimob, um, Itemis, uh, Lattice, Nota, uh, OmniML, Pixart, Plumerai, Kixo, uh, Rackner, Rixen, SAP, Stream Analyze, Texel, and Google. So we are very uh, thankful for their support and more importantly for them being part of this community and driving it forward.